These new one-click AI agents are absolutely insane and you can build them for free. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this step-by-step. -step. So you can see DeepSeek R1 is plugged in and this did not cost us a penny to build or use. We get a free API in this method. Plus I'll be showing you how to build these pipelines. So I'll be explaining each stage of the process. It's not as complicated as it looks, it's actually really simple. And I'm also going to be breaking down what you can do with this, plus how you can connect each of these different modules. So let's crack straight into it. What we have got here is basically a chat bar where it takes the inputs like you can see right here. Then we've got a knowledge base reader. So this is going to read information from our knowledge base. It's going to take, for example, any research you upload. You can personalize all of this information right here so that basically the agent has custom made knowledge that it can look back on to give you better quality output. For example, if you're creating like a video transcript or content creation or a landing page or a website, it could use the knowledge from this section over here to then plug that straight into this section over here, which is the AI agent itself, right? So this module right here is using an open source API and we have put that the inputs are coming from over here. All right, and then you've got the knowledge base over here. So this is taking the knowledge from this section. And then finally, we have the chat history so that it can remember what's happened previously. So it's actually got a memory. It can understand, okay, here's what we've done before. Here's what we're going to do next. Additionally, you can plug in your own personal API key if you prefer that. And then from there, it's going to give the outputs like you can see. Now, also inside the model, you don't have to use DeepSeek R1. Like you can use, for example, DeepSeek version 3. It depends what you want, right? So if you want a reasoning model, then you're going to go with DeepSeek R1 because DeepSeek R1 has logic built into it. It thinks things through. It's like a chess grandmaster, right? Thinks ahead in many steps. Whereas for example, if you switch to a DeepSeek version three, DeepSeek version three is great for creating content and getting fast answers. It will be much better, for example, for customer service, something like that. So if we take this whole workflow right here, and I will show you how to build it in a sec. If we click on deploy changes, any changes that you make are going to be deployed right here. So we'll put DeepSeek as the name, hit deploy. That's going to patch it up to the new version. And now if you want to run this, you can click on run over here and you can actually test this out in many different ways. So you can choose, for example, just a standard input output test. You could test this out as a chat bot. So we can say, hey, mate, what are you doing? And you got the old AI sitting in there thinking about life, thinking about what it's going to respond with. And it's using the inputs and the outputs from this whole process. Now, inside the chat bot section over here, for example, when we had DeepSeek R1 plugged in, I put in test and it says, it looks like you're sending a test message. How can I assist you today? If you have any questions or need information, feel free to ask. You can also do voice, which I've not tested, but you can enable your microphone. Then you can actually have an input as a voice and run that through your pipeline instead. So just as a random example, I've switched to Llama over here and then I've put, for example, are you working? And the AI has come back to us. We can also copy that response or download it, etc. Now, these are the basics. And I'll show you how to set this up in a second. Once you've done that, then you can click on export, call the chatbot, whatever you want. All right, create the chatbot. And now you get all these options on how you're going to design it, right? So you can, for example, have a message limit per conversation, whether you want to keep the chat open, allow the clear chat. You can have a name of a user, the message prompts, etc. And you can change the styling over here. So you can actually change, for example, what it looks like. So if we switch this over here, we can change the colors to red and you'll see the colors change right there. If you want to change the background color, you can do it pretty simply. And you can even add your own image here. For example, if we take this image address and we plug that as the logo, it switches to Goldie Agency. And it's very simple to edit all of this, to be honest with you. Now, once we click on export, we actually get an embeddable chat bar. So you can actually embed this AI agent directly into your website or you can open it up. So if you click on open chat bar over here, we've now got the chat bar ready to go. And it's even got a voice input there. We can message it. Let's just test this is working and you can see it works perfectly. Plus, we've got a follow up questions that we can ask along the way. So it's really easy to do this. You can click on a new chat in the top left as well, and then you can program this however you want. Now, if you want to set one of these bad boys up, what we can do is if we go to new, create pipeline, now we can start setting up the LLM. And bear in mind, like, I just want to be very clear here. I am on the free plan. All right. So in the bottom, it says upgrade to a pay plan to unlock more features, right? We're on the free plan here. We're not paying for anything. And if you're wondering, okay, what are the usage limits on the free plan? You can see all of the details right here. So for forms, chatbots, etc., everything else. So if you want to set something like this up, here we go. Here's how you do it. 
So we can have an input. This is basically the text that you're going to plug into the chatbot. Then from here, we're going to go to LMs and click on open source. And then you can select which open source model you want. So for example, R1. And again, this is not costing you any money in terms of the API usage, right? So you're getting all these open source models completely for free, which is pretty amazing. If you ask me, you can also just click on use personal API key here and then plug that in. So you could, for example, like plug in API key for Gemini or whatever you want. If you want to get a free one of those, just go to aistudio.google.com. You can get a free API for that. And then I'm going to deselect that now. Now we're going to have the system instructions. Okay. So for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a prompt that I use for creating content over here and I say keyword equals, and then I will insert the input from the chat input over here. All right. So if we click on that, then we're going to hit enter, make sure you click enter. And to get that to show up, all you do is if you're on a Mac, you press shift and bracket. And that will come up with a squiggly bracket, right? And that's what you want for the input. And you got all the details right here. All right. And then if you want to add a knowledge base, just click on the knowledge base section over here. Click on knowledge. Here we go. And then if you're wondering, okay, how do you create knowledge? Like how do you add knowledge to this? If we click on create new knowledge base and we'll put Julian Goldie information about me, hit create. And inside the knowledge, if you go back to your dashboard, a vector shift, you can actually choose between like URLs, Wikipedia URLs, YouTube URLs, etc. right? And so for example, we could take a URL from the web, like my own website and use that to train the chatbot to create content. So let's paste that in, hit add right there. It's loading. So you can see the status is buffering as such. Then if we go back to the knowledge base, we can select the knowledge base right there and you can see it's loaded. Great success. All right. And you can see it's synced as well. So you can see when it was last synced. And if you want it to rescrape, you can choose between rescraping the information on the live page, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly. All right. So you can scrape new information from the web as you do this. And then if we go back to our pipeline dashboard, we're going to go back inside the prompt and we say, okay, keyword equals. And then again, we'll get those squiggly lines going, plug that in. And also inside the system message, we're going to say, use the source context from our knowledge base. All right. So we'll select knowledge base here and so to create the content. All right. Then you can select whichever deep seek model you want. And we can also add that memory. So if you want to add a memory, just go over to the chat section and then type in chat memory and bear in mind, like when you tag these in, so when you add in that squiggly bracket, that's going to link these automatically. So it's unlike other tools where NA10, you have to figure out where to add the arrows, connect things, etc. It's quite messy. Whereas inside here, as soon as you tag the module, it links directly to all the other workflows. So it's very easy to link like a knowledge base or a chat memory or an input using this process. What you can also say here is remember my feedback from, and then we'll tag in the chat memory. Like, and that's basically going to remember any feedback that I give it inside the chat. Beautiful. Now we just need an output. So we're going to select inside the general tab here, output. All right, because it needs somewhere to send the information and we're going to select the output as the information from the AI agent. And again, these are just connected automatically. So it's super, super easy to build these AI agents. And once this is running, you can basically create content or in one click or whatever you want to build in one click. It's very simple and easy. So just to recap here, we've got the input, AKA the chat. That's going to go to our AI agent, which is using our deep seek model. From there, it's going to read the information from the knowledge base, the chat memory, and the prompt for the system message. By the way, if you just want to steal this agent from me, I'll include the template inside the AI profit boardroom link in the comments description. Then we're going to hit deploy changes, deploy. Then we're going to go to export and we can just export that. Now I actually want to test it first before I actually export it. I think that's always a good practice. So from here inside the chat bot, we're going to click run and I'm going to type in my keyword for the content SEO train in Japan. And now that is loading. Some of these Steve seek APIs are a little bit buggy at the minute. I'm going to warn you now. So one thing to be careful of when you're doing this is just make sure you have the API that's actually going to work. So I actually switch to the chat bot section over here to test it out. I've said keyword equals SEO training Japan. Now it's processing the request. We have the content ready to go, like you can see. So we've got the output, pretty simple and easy. Again, this is all free. We didn't pay for this. We'll plug that into a Google Doc just to preview it. You see it's really nicely formatted. And bearing in mind, like DeepSeek 
R1 is not even a content creation AI. It's more designed for logic, but actually the outputs are really good, right? So it says, why isn't my SEO working in Japan? If you've asked this, you're not alone. Most SEO strategies fail here because they ignore these three things. Yahoo's Japan dominance, mobile first users, and cultural nuances that make Google Analytics cry. Let's fix that, right? The content itself is really nice. And we just got a perfect output in literally one click. Plus, because it's leveraging the links and the information personalized to me, we're not creating like generic jargon. We're not creating like generic fluff or, or trashy content here. This is all personalized to me and it links to our funnels as well. Plus this is really nicely formatted, like you can see. So even use some Japanese characters like you can see. So how to choose SEO training in Japan without wasting. And then that actually means 10,000 yen. So we're learning J Japanese as we build these deep seek agents. We've got the FAQs right there. We got the information about us, who we are, etc., And that was crazy powerful. That was way easier than expected. We checked the word count of this article is about 600 words, something like that. And it's all personalized to us. And literally all we had to do was type in our keyword and click. That was it, simple as that. Now, if we want to export that, what we can do from here is number one, just name this so we've got the right one. Number two, make sure we've deployed this. And then number three, we'll click on export, chatbot, you can change this to a form as well, by the way. So if you want like an AI generated form that runs automatically based on the inputs, you can just create a form there. But we're gonna go to chatbot now, export that deep seek one click AI agent for content creation. We'll hit create chatbot. And if you're on the plan as well, just make sure that you are, you, you do get a limit on the number of chatbots. I think it's two chatbots at a time. So I'm just gonna delete these previous ones and then put the name of it and export it again. That's exported. Again, you can customize all of this as you want it to. Export it, open the chat bot, type in your keyword as you want to, and then you can see that's working beautifully right there. We'll come back to it in a sec, see what we get as the outputs. But one thing I wanna show you next is how to actually embed these to a web page, right? So you've got a choice between an iframe or just a normal script. So if we wanted to embed this chat bot, for example, we can copy this. Then I'm just gonna to go to a random page on my website. We'll edit that. Then inside here, we can select code inside WordPress. You can do this in Shopify or wherever else you want as well. Plug in the code. So hit update, click on view post, and boom shakalaka, the AI agent is deployed onto our website. Now, if we go back to that chat bot, we've got the content back as you can see, and it's created this content step-by-step. -step. Pretty easy and simple. We can, the content is better than most humans would write it. It's all customized to us, it's personalized to us. And we didn't even have to go back and forth with it. It's even customized, for example, the content itself to the local area. So for example, this article was about SEO training in Manchester. And you can see like it's talking about the MEM, Manchester Evening News, Manchester Chamber of Commerce, etc. And it's really easy to read as well as you can see. It's even upselling the SEO strategy session plus linking to it directly right there. Boom shakalaka. That's what we like to see peeps. And then if you ever want to delete the code from your website, you can just click on the three dots. Delete that, update that. Happy days, my friends. And the fact that you can do all of this for free is just absolutely mind blowing, right? Absolutely mind blowing. The other thing you can do as well is you can protect this with a password. For example, let's say you were selling a tool like this or a chatbot like this. You could actually protect it with a password and then people can only use it once they have the password, therefore they have to pay you for that information. And also I would recommend inside the knowledge base here, just add lots of information about you, who you are, what your business is, etc. And bear in mind like this, is as simple as it gets. Like you could make this so much more complex. If you actually go inside the agent pipeline, like you can see, and then we go to integrations, you can link this to Airtable, to Gmail, your Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Sheets, etc. But there's so many different apps that you can actually link this to. It's unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all the prompts and everything else that we showed today, feel free to get that. I've got a full SAP on it directly inside the AI Profit Boardroom, along with all of my best workflows on like how to make $100 with AI, an A10 agent workflows, deep seek and make AI automation, a three hour course on deep seek if you really want to go deep. There's tons of video tutorials and all my best SAPs and templates inside here. And this just grows every single day. So always add in the latest new information to it. On top of that, it comes with an amazing community of people all trying to scale their business, make money and save time with AI. This comes with weekly coaching with me so you can just jump on a live call with me if you have any questions. Not only that, but if you can't make the Q and A's, then we actually record them so that you can watch them back. Now, this is at a beta price right now. Price is probably gonna go up because we've already got 154 members and we only just launched this month. So if you wanna save money, make sure you sign up and you'll get your lifetime discount right now.
before prices go up. Link in the comments and description to the AI Profit Boardroom. If you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visits a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot, feel free to get that on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan custom tailored to your business. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building or answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website plus how to quickly have ranking competitors to link building and how to turn SEO, SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you can see right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye.